Taurus and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. This is going to be a reading from June 28th until July 4th. We're going to look at your past, present, current, sorry, past, current, and near future energies, as well as any energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind. Please keep in mind these are general readings. They may not resonate for everyone. If they don't resonate for you, make sure to check out your other placements. So let's get started by taking a look at the energies for Taurus for this week. We've got past, present, future. Okay, the main energy that you're going to be dealing with this week or the energy that is going to be the most difficult for you to deal with this week is the King of Wands. Very confident, very powerful, very assertive, um, very attractive, wanting to take action towards something or towards someone. We will see more once we clarify the rest of your energies. So in your recent past, you get the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. You want to take action towards something, okay? And you are very confident, very logical. You have a plan about how you want to approach this. And this is showing up as a collaboration. So this could actually have to do with your work. This could be something that... Um, I get a feeling that it has to do with a relationship, but we'll see more when we clarify. This could have to do with your work where you're gaining clarity, you're gaining an understanding of something, and you want to move in that direction. You have a logical plan. You are very practical, very knowledgeable, very clear-minded, not clouded by emotions and all, and you want to collaborate. You want to work on something. You want to build something, set a solid foundation. So we'll see more what that is. In your current situation, you get the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, the Ten of Swords. Long-term stability, commitment, happiness, and also something is coming to an end. So I feel like these may be two different energies that you're dealing with. I don't see this all being the same situation. So this could be one person, this could be another, etc. We'll see more when we clarify. In your near future, you get the Eight of Wands, the Tower, the Three of Wands. There's communication here. Either you have the desire to communicate with someone or someone is coming in to communicate with you and this is kind of destabilizing. It's a bit of like a shaking the ground you stand on type of energy. Um, it could be that the communication is what's bringing about this lack of stability where you're kind of like, whoa, wait a minute, what's happening here? It could be difficult energies to deal with as a result of this communication. Either way, I also see some waiting, some planning, some waiting, um, a pause in your near future. We'll see more what this is about once we clarify. So let's get started by clarifying your past energies. What is this Ace of Swords in the past for Taurus? Ace of Swords in the past. Ace of Swords is clarified by the Justice, the Six of Pentacles, and the Devil. You want to create balance in this situation. These are two cards of establishing and creating balance. And with the Ace of Swords at the bottom, I see that desire to create that balance, that equal give and take. Um, balanced energy either within yourself, but I feel like it's more of within a dynamic that you're with, that you're in with another person. Now, here's the thing with the devil showing up here, it could tell me that either you're allowing your own fears and your own insecurities to come into play when you're trying to create the sense of a balance, which is why this devil is showing up. Or alternatively, it could be that there is some toxicity in a specific situation and you want to rectify that basically and bring balance to a situation which may be toxic which may be unstable which may be not balanced uh in your recent past let's take a look at this queen of swords in your recent past what is the queen of swords all about in the recent past for taurus wow queen of swords is clarified by the ace of swords which you just got in your recent past the three of cups and the eight of wands you are gaining clarity. You're gaining an understanding. This is almost coming like a realization for you that you want to reconcile with someone. You want a reconciliation here. You, I also see because the Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck, it's telling me that you are very um, logical. You are very knowledgeable about this. Like this isn't coming from a place of emotion, but you've actually thought this through. You've taken emotions out of the situation. You've thought this through and you've come to the realization like, yeah, I want to get together with someone. I want to reconcile with this person. Um, and you realize that, and I see you also wanting to communicate about it. So again, this could be you, this could be your person. 
I feel like this is you because this is your reading. You are going to want to communicate with this person about the fact that um, you want to reconcile, that you want to get together with them. Um, th this is You've gained a sense of clarity about this. It's almost like you're realizing like this is what you want uh, in your recent past. Now, whether or not you actually took action, I feel like you did. With these two Aces of Swords, Aces are usually... Um, they're beginning energy for me, but they're also action taking cards, especially the Ace of Swords. To me, I feel like you did actually take action. You did actually communicate with this person about the desire to reconcile or getting together and hanging out. Um, but again, this could be you. This could be your person. Let's take a look at the Three of Pentacles. Taurus, your cards are just everywhere. The Three of Pentacles in your recent past. What is that all about? Three of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. You're up in your head about this. You're up in your head about this a lot. Um, oof. So you want to work with this person. You want to collaborate with them. It's showing up as a sense of like, I want to establish a foundation. I want to rebuild this foundation, which may have been broken. Um, you guys may be separated again because of this reconciliation card to me the three of cups is reconciliation So you guys may be broken up. You may be separated I see you wanting to come back together with them and work on it not work on it like oh like uh, Outpouring of love and like, you know grand gestures But more so like let's work on building a solid foundation for the two of us and build up from that Let's work together on establishing this foundation now with this desire that you had, you also had a lot of thoughts about it, a lot of fears. You basically have your own little mental prison going on, okay? Um, and I see you almost, despite the fact that you're all up in your head about it and you're thinking about this a lot, I still see you taking action, okay? I see you leaving this energy of, I'm all up in my head, I'm, I'm overthinking this, I'm overanalyzing. I see you leaving that behind and just focusing on actually taking action, making something happen. Again, baby steps. Pages are very, very um, beginning energy. They're very basic energy in the sense that they're not like nights where they're actually going to take a lot of action, but you're slowly moving in that direction, baby steps towards actually working on this Three of Pentacles, which is good because if this devil shows up in your recent past, this could be your fears trying to hold you back from establishing this balanced situation in this connection. So the fact that I see you leaving that behind and I see you focusing on actually doing something, that's a relatively, um, it's a good energy, good energy to have. Let's take a look at this 10 of pentacles in your current situation. What is this 10 of pentacles all about in the current situation for Taurus? Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Wands, the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles. Remember how I said here the, the Page of Pentacles is a beginning energy? In your past, you were in the Page energy. In your current situation, you're showing up as the Knight. So you are taking action. You're moving. Again, super slowly, just like any Taurus would, because Tauruses are just like baby steps. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest energy moving in the deck. <clears throat> but I see you slowly moving towards this person who you are very attracted to. They show up as your their, your empress. Empress to me is like, <clears throat> excuse me, this person is everything and a bag of chips. They are the best thing since sliced bread in your eyes, okay? So you are super attracted to them. You are There's a lot of passion between the two of you. And I also see the potential for a long-term stable commitment showing up here, okay? It's long-term. It's stable. And this is what Taurus like. Um... And this person, again, you're very attracted to them. You care about them a lot. Like they are, they mean a lot to you. Okay. And I see you slowly moving in their direction. Very, very slowly. Very typical of you Tauruses, but still making some movement. Let's take a look at the sun in your current energy. What is the sun about in the current energy for Taurus? The sun is clarified by the Knight of Wands, the King of Swords, the Four of Cups. Again, you're very passionate about something here, okay? You're very attracted to something. You want to take action in someone's direction. I see you having the clarity on how to do it. I see you also showing up as a little bit void of emotion, though, when it comes to this situation. I don't... 
I don't feel like this is the same situation as this. So this could be something else that you're dealing with where you are very attracted to it. Um, it makes you very happy, but you are, there's a lack of emotion involved here. And I also see some unhappiness associated with this. So whatever it is that you view as your happiness, I see you wanting to take action towards it. I see you wanting to move in that direction and you have a plan on how to do so. But something about this situation is making you unhappy. It's bringing you, you're not comfortable with this energy. It's like making you unhappy. That's the word that keeps coming up. Let's take a look at this Ten of Swords in your current situation. What is this Ten of Swords about in the current situation for Taurus? <clears throat> Whoa, Ten of Swords is clarified by the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the King of Cups, Divine Pair, Divine Couple here, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, lots of love. This is the most loving pair in the deck. Whoever this person is, you and them, you share so much love, so much emotion, so much positive, good, like fulfilling emotional energy. And the beautiful thing is that I see you taking action towards them. So something may have come to an end in a different situation, which has allowed this situation to come to light where you are both taking action towards each other because I see the king and the queen and smack center in the middle as the knight of actually moving, taking action, charging ahead. So whatever may have happened, there's something here in your current situation which is making you unhappy. As a result of that, I see something coming to an end. And after that ending, from that ending, you get this beautiful divine couple, um, divine pair that there's action being taken towards each other, towards coming together. Um, let's take a look at this Eight of Wands. What is this Eight of Wands in your near future energy, Taurus? Eight of Wands in the near future. Eight of Pent or sorry, Eight of Wands is clarified by the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the High Priestess. Okay, Taurus, do we have two people we're dealing with here? For some of you, you may have two people that you're dealing with here. You may have an earth sign and a fire sign or someone that has a lot of earth and a lot of fire in their chart. You may be getting a communication, a message, a call, something from one of these people or both of these people. And you're going to have to rely on your intuition to decide in which direction you want to go. Now, that could be the story for some of you. For those of you that that does not resonate with, you're showing up as the king of pentacles here. That to me is the Taurus sign very grounded, very stable earth energy. I see there's another person here, the King of Wands, someone that you're very attracted to, lots of passion between you and this person. They're showing up in a very confident kind of like badass energy, like, yeah, you know, I know you find me attractive. And I mean, you do, no lie. Um, and I see you being intuitively guided towards this person. So there's going to be a communication coming in here from this person. I see you listening to your intuition when it comes to how you should act regarding this message, regarding this communication that is coming in for you in the near future. Let's take a look at the tower energy in your near future. What is this tower? Oh, ooh, didn't fall. I saw it though. I saw them. We'll see. If the universe wants the cards to come out, it'll bring them out. What is this tower all about in the near future for Taurus? Oh my God, Taurus, your energy right now. I literally can't even shuffle these cards. It's like so charged. The tower in the near future for Taurus. The tower is clarified by the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles. Something is coming to an end here and it is kind of shaking you to your core is what I feel like. Um, whatever is coming to an end, it is destabilizing you. It's almost creating a very difficult energy for you to deal with. However, after this ending, I see a new beginning a new offer of love coming in. This is not from a person from your past, I don't feel. This feels like a new person. Um, a new offer of love coming in, and I see the Eight of Pentacles showing up as you or the other person wanting to work on this. So it could be that something came to an end, and as a result, one thing ended. If you're dealing with multiple people, one thing ended, and the other person that it did not end with is now showing up under the energy of 
showing up in love, wanting to offer you their affection, wanting to start anew with you and wanting to put in the work. Now, this could also be your person, your other person, where <clears throat> I don't know why I'm getting this energy, you guys. This is so weird. Okay, I'm just going to say it because I'm feeling called to say it. Um, this could be not your energy. This could be your person's energy where out of nowhere, they're getting a realization. Something was done. You guys are, were ended, right? Okay. There was a separation. You guys broke up, separated, whatever. It ended. It was over. And out of nowhere, out of the blue, all of a sudden, this person experiences this like shocking realization where they're like, what in the hell? No, this can't be done. Absolutely not. And this is a person from your past coming in, offering you new love. They want to start anew. They want to start fresh with you. They have a lot of feelings for you and they want to put in the work. They want to work on whatever didn't work in the past. They want to make this new beginning in love work with you. Again, you guys would know which story resonates for you. I usually do not have two parallel stories in my mind at the same time. But for some reason in your reading, Taurus, these two stories are coming up. So whoever needs to hear this, some of these messages are going to apply to some of you and there's a different message for a very few of you. Um, but yeah, very interesting. If you guys don't mind uh, commenting below and letting me know which story resonates with you, which one applies to you, I would really love, love to hear if you feel comfortable sharing. Let's take a look at this Three of Wands in your uh, future energies. What is this Three of Wands about in your future energies? Three of Wands is clarified by the moon, the five of pentacles, and the lovers. Something is hidden here. There's waiting, and something is not being shown. Something is not coming to the surface. There's a very strong connection that you're dealing with here, a very, very powerful connection that you are dealing with. Um, you know it. The other person knows it. There was a separation, so I see a definite separation, separation that happened in the past. Um, I don't see this as something current. I see this as the separation happened in the past, but the separation energy, this person is still feeling it. And I think that they're almost not acknowledging the fact or the amount of effect that it's had on them, or they're not even aware of the fact that like they're still dealing with this separation. They're still dealing with the pain of this breakup because this was, or this still is a very powerful connection. And whoever is showing up for you here with the lovers, they're experiencing this, this fear of abandonment, this, the fear of the breakup all over again, okay? Which might cause a bit of a pause, which might cause it, because at the bottom you have the three of wands, which is waiting. It might cause a bit of like a waiting period while this person works through this and comes to terms with like, wait a minute, this is what I'm actually feeling. Coming, reaching the awareness that this is what they feel, reaching the awareness that they had pain from the separation and understanding that this is a very powerful connection. Um, this could be you, this could be your person, but this is showing up in the near future. Let's take a look at what energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week, Taurus. The Hermit, the World, the Empress. Something is coming to an end. There's a cycle closing out for you here. You are the Empress for me. Something is closing off here. You're gaining a lot of knowledge and you're healing a lot through whatever is coming to an end here for you. It is going to be transformative. Absolutely. Okay. So Taurus, thank you so much for tuning in. That is the reading that I have for you this week. 